back to the vlog. Yeah. And he shaved his beard, which so, I think he should shave it off. Sam got a haircut today. How much did that cost you, Sam? 35 bucks. 35 bucks. It's gone up. Everything's gone yeah. up, huh? Yeah. How much, much did it used to cost you? $25. So it went up $10, probably yeah. because of COVID. Probably because I got my beard trimmed. Don't you usually get your beard trimmed too? I get it a little bit. It used to cost you eight bucks to get your hair I cut. Know, it used to cost eight dollars. What happened? Wow. Time to be a barber. We should go back to school and be a barber. Somebody then you can cut all of our hair. You can cut my hair for free. You <laughs> can't cut your own hair though. No, I know. So you guys have to do it. You want to be a barber? Sophie would be a good hairdresser. And she's a little girl. She always dreamed of being a hairdresser. I would chop his beard off. Anyways, good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today we are headed out extra early. It's 1028. That's early for us. Our chores are done. Sam did them before he went to the, to the hairdresser. Oh, I don't know if they're done. Oh, the storm. Sam let the horses out and the girls are supposed to do chores. So we got to race back and make sure that they're done well because the chiropractor's coming in. I don't like a dirty barn when the chiropractor comes. Oh no, I comes. just swept all the dirt in the middle so you have to pick it up. No, you can pick it up. We are headed to Horde Station. You guys know on Tuesdays it's the place to be. It's the place we go to see if there are any horses for sale. Not that we need any more horses, but we always like to go. It's something that we like to do. I know a lot of you guys, like I said before, it's hard for a lot of you guys to see that kind of stuff, but we love animals so much that we just like to be able to be around them and spend time with them. And I like whipped cream. Gabby likes whipped cream. What do you have? Do you have a drink? No. Did you? Did you? Okay. Yeah, that was super random. She didn't recognize it. We oh like, my god! What she is it? Whipped cream! Oh my god, she's murdering the cows! Oh yeah. One time, a long time ago, I got a message from a 14 year old girl and it said, how do you live with yourself? And basically she said I was responsible for the rape and brutality of the cows, of, of the cows. And I said, well, how? And she said, look, there's cows right there. You showed yourself eating whipped cream in your videos. And I was like, oh gosh. Oh, uh, they are beautiful. It's true though. Like cows are beautiful. They're so cute. Oh my god, looked like they were running free. And I don't believe in the brutality and the rape of cows. I believe that we are on the verge of a different way of farming, a different way to take care of animals. And I think that it's not going to happen in a day or a week or a month or a year. I think it's just a process, you guys. I think that showing people the way you can be with animals and showing how you can love animals, even cows, can help change the world. So that that's where I stand on the whole thing. But yeah, that's why, and I did say to the girl, well, I like whipped cream. <laughs> that's where Gabby's coming up with her whipped cream comment. One last thing before we get to our destination, I wanted to do an episode of What's in Laura's she Bra. Yeah, bra. sometimes the whole bra thing turns into a problem because imagine you're going someplace and the people are looking at you like, what the heck is wrong with your boobs? And you pull out a pair of scissors. Yeah, that's, Gabby, that's the scissors you like. Yeah, they were in your bag and they went through the wash. So I'm going to take them down and to the barn. Anytime I need to take something down to the barn, I put them in my bra. And the only other thing that I carry in there every day an is an extra battery because you never know when you're going to need an extra battery. All right, we are here at the barn, at the sales barn. You guys should know that this crazy stuff is happening to me. Like, I. If there's a miniature you, baby goat, we're getting it. If there's a miniature baby goat, we're getting it. I used to hate editing the riding vlogs because they were hard for me and now I love it. I love watching riding. I've been watching so many Pasofino training riding videos. Mom, a little taller than this. My world is changing. Hey, I can fit under this. Our thing. world is changing. Alright, let's go. Baby goat. So Sophie's looking for a baby miniature goat. I don't think there's anything here today. I see cows. I hear sheep. There's a step here. I always I always trip on it. All right, you guys, what do you think? I hear sheep. The only reason I don't want a sheep, even though I like them, is because I don't want to have to worry about the hair. Oh, there we go. Look at them. Like, you can see the intelligence in their eyes and in their face. Look at how curious they are. Look at how cute. Oh my God, I like that one. The, the one with the black the face? face? The white face? The whole white one? Yeah. Pure white one, you like that guy? I like the one with the black face. They said hello. Oh, they're adorable. Who does look at Gabby's doing her train her cat training? She does this and all the cats come running. But not the sheep, they run away. Gabby, I feel like you maybe have like a 
aura about you that chases animals away. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. It went that one. It went that one. I like oh my gosh. Oh, you're cute. You're you're beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's a pygmy, I think. Are you a boy? Probably, they're always boys. Oh. Oh my god, hi. You are adorable. And then down here. All right, so today's goat day at the sales barn. I like this breed. Look at how cute their faces are. These ones are not as friendly. That's a cute little blonde one there. We need more light colors in our in our house. I like that one. I definitely want a goat. The dark one with the white hair. Yeah. Look at that boy is calling us. That one's calling us. Come back, come back. So here's the thing about. I have mint breath in my eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Abby's chewing gum with a mask on and she has mint breath in her eyes. Um, I, every time we leave here, I'm like, oh, I do not want to go, like, goats are a lot of work. It's a lot of, it's a lot. And then I come here and I'm like, I want a goat. So once we move and we if have we got a, him, he'd be a thing once we move and we have a better it's setup, big. I think it's a girl. we're going to have a, oh my gosh. Aww. <laughs> Yeah, look at that beard. You need to go see that. It's thirty-five dollars to get a haircut, you know. Thirty-five bucks. I bet you it's pregnant. We should get it. We're trying to discover if it's a girl. It might be a pregnant girl, you guys. I think it might be a girl. Oh my goodness! This has been a pet. Look at this little thing. They call it too hard. I would buy an animal for its personality before I would ever buy it for its color and beauty. Today I was thinking about how Mom, it's pregnant. even when people say really mean things about you and say bad things about you, that sometimes when that happens you have to go inside yourself and know that you are a child of God and that God is on your side and you have to like be inside yourself and be smug inside yourself knowing how amazing you are even when other people don't know how amazing you are. You have to be strong and know it for yourself. Mom, then you get this goat. I want this goat. Put your hand under there, Sophie, and feel if it's got a, a penis. I can't feel it. It's too far away. And it's beautiful. I'm going in there. Hard belly. It's a hard belly. I feel something underneath here. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, oh I see balls. ginormous balls. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. Yeah, it You're a cute boy. Yeah, you are. Don't eat my purse. Oh my goodness. Oh, you are adorable. You are so cute. He's friendly. He's cute. All right, so if you could buy one pet from there, one animal, what would you get? I would get a goat. What goat? Either a boy or a light colored one. So if it's Gabby, boy, really if you could get one pet from there, what would you get? Or did they not have any pets there that you liked? I didn't like them. Sam, what did you like there? Do you could, if what? Nothing for Sam. Clearly it's Sophie and I, they're animal people. I would get the boy, even though boy. You like all animals. I like all animals. Even though um, boy goat pee smells terrible and you'd have to get, and you'd have to get neutered, whatever that means, however you say that in a goat language. Some people believe to be an advocate for animals, you have to be mean and angry and aggressive. And I honestly just don't believe that. I believe that love changes the world. I believe that anger and aggression creates hate every single time. That you can control the world. You can control situations with anger and aggression, but you won't actually truly change the world. Love changes the world, you guys. One day at a time. One day at a time, love will change the world. A lot of you guys said I should not wash Stella's halter, and I totally get where you're where you're coming from. I understand it is sentimental, we have those old halters. but we have a lot of stuff, and if we don't you reuse them, and we can't keep everything that Stella had. Yeah, and Stella's old halter, it's fine. Yeah, the one that she used all the time. Yeah, like this was not like her her first halter, or this is one of Stella's halters, and. It's just more cost effective to reuse them. And another thing, you guys, I honestly believe that keeping Stella a part of my daily life involves always having a reminder of her with us. Can I buy this halter for Stella? 
Yeah, you did buy it. And no, it was using my birthday, Dad bought it. Yeah, it was my birthday present. Aww. It's mine. And but Sophie's gonna be kind and let me use it on my mare, especially for when we first go. Hunting. Yeah. If I get this little mare, I will be doing my very own tack haul shopping for her. She will have all the Ooh, things that are I'm meant save my money. just for her. I'm gonna save my money so I can go willow stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Or Finn. Okay, so this is my I, halter. I can get uh, leave this part down. Twisted. So okay, can you do that part up too? Hello, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Houdini. We should have called him Houdini. How come you're escaping all the time? I am going to try and remember and He's phone like, the vet today and get them booked in for a neuter. I also washed my grooming bag and it washed up so well. These grooming bags, I got it on Amazon for Mother's Day. It always washes and cleans up so well. I also washed all of my brushes and my grooming supplies cleaned them all, disinfected them all, a little bit of bleach, and now I'm just gonna pack up my bag. It is a glorious day, it is about 72 degrees, 74. I have the weirdest feeling this is not gonna work. I don't think they're gonna leave their friends to come to us for treats at the new barn. And Finn never usually stays on his own, but he's over there. The horses are super calm and relaxed today. I'm excited to have this all ready set for my girl if we get her. My plan for if we get her is to just go slow with her, um, work with her every single day, but not like just bring her here and jump on the same exact minute. I, want, I believe that horses need time to figure out their environment. I also believe like I, I've seen horses, I've seen horses react to new environments completely different ways, but one of the big things is that I definitely have seen horses want to be with the people and get a break from the herd dynamics. Like that, that's what happened every time we've moved with our, our horses. They always like, when we get there to see them again, they're always like, take me out of here. So we're going to see what happens. I want her to have time to settle in and relax, but I want to start making her my own right away. Oh yeah, Finn's not coming. Why is that? I've never seen that happen before. He's always the first one to come. So Storm has been <laughs> Storm's been back in the herd for I think three days now and there have been no cuts, no bruises, no none of that. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? So people want to see a uh, clean the tack room video. I suspect it's because they want us to clean our tack room. <laughs> oh yeah, you should put your helmets in those. Those are gorgeous. A subscriber long ago sent us these bags. It's a really nice monogrammed helmet cover bag. It's all soft in the inside and they're gorgeous. And now my helmet won't get put on again. Make sure yeah. that there's no mice on, in them. Okay. Get out, mouse. Mine doesn't have Good. In here I have my things like my like a scrunchie spurs and can you hold this open? Hairnet. You just slide it in there. So this is our job today. Today we are packing up stuff to take to the new barn. And Gabby wants to uh, power wash some saddle pads. Yeah, I know. I like those bags. The wide brim. It actually fits yeah. the wide brim. Yeah, they're really nice bags. I put all my treats in here for now. I stole a bunch of apples. And uh, I used the other two bags that I won. But she won four treats. bags of treats at the last show. So that's going into her bucket. Our horses move tomorrow. You need all your tack that can fit in there. I don't think you need to bring those. Maybe pick one that fit mix. How many saddle pads are you going to bring? Two. Pick two ear bonnets that match the saddle pads. But I don't have any ear bonnets that match my saddle pads. Okay, then don't bring any ear, ear bonnets. Also bringing some boots just in case Fiona we need them. Those ones are not good. Why aren't they good? Because they're not open front? No, I don't know. I saw a video. I have some fly spray. I have a rope Fly halter. spray in winter? 
Well, I mean, it's still September. Um, a rope halter, and I have two lead ropes in there. Okay. We're gonna wash this. Green. So let's because wash. We're gonna wash all that. Get all your brushes. This is really helpful when it's shedding. Should. You just go in circles. And yeah. It just takes off all and then, okay, so put all your brushes in a pile outside the door, and we're gonna wash them. So we're gonna so wash that. So it. we're gonna power wash a bunch of stuff. Sophie has this much stuff just thrown in her bucket. And Gabby has this much stuff. Power yeah, we're gonna power wash everything. Let's do it now. just measured we just measured Gabby's inches on the wall there according to this she's five feet five inches five feet five inches so I think what happened is that these are old and we measure I think I measured them down at the barn last but she's definitely five feet five inches let's see how tall you are right at the floor push it in a bit okay pick it up and okay, this is not uh, scientifically perfect Sophie is 61 and a half, which equals, Sophie is five feet one and a half, you guys. So basically, I'm growing. Even though they grew on here, I must have measured them before because we already knew Gabby was five feet five and Sophie was five feet one. But actually, Sophie's five feet one and a half now. Hmm. It's quarter to four and our chiropractor comes today at four o'clock. Usually we're on the early train. She never ever comes this late. She's never come this late before. Uh, so the girls have gone down to get the boys and put them in the barn. I made Gabby a grilled cheese sandwich. It looks kind of burnt, doesn't it? Let's see if I can do one of those things where I flip it upside down and it looks less burnt. I think she'll still like it. Look at Gino. I made your owner a big, huge cheese sandwich. He's like, let me get it. Here you go, sister. Where's the ketchup? You want ketchup? Yeah. I don't like to I don't like the video when our chiropractor comes um, because it's uncomfortable. It's kind of like putting people on the spot. Unless I have a question for her, then I will ask her if I can video her. Finn loves the chiropractor. Chino likes the chiropractor. Stormy Boy does not love the chiropractor. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna brush him right now and help the girls get ready so so that we can get through this. So the chiropractor said that all of our horses were in great shape. They're doing better than ever before. And even Storm was not locked up anywhere. He didn't have any neck issues. He didn't have any any pain or any pr problems. It's super weird because uh, as long as we've had him, he's always like kind of been our one that needs the chiropractor okay. more. Yeah, no, Storm. But she said that whatever he's doing right now, which is jumping up a storm, winning champion, being a crazy show horse in the paddock, she said maybe more work and more muscle is what he needed. Sam and I are headed out to do some shopping, some grocery shopping. Uh, before I end today's video, I wanted to ask you guys, I wanted to ask you guys some advice about our $100,000 giveaway. We're getting really close. It's gonna happen really soon, within the next two weeks. And I don't know what to do for a giveaway. We wanna have a giveaway. We wanna give back. Do you wanna share in our happiness at reaching 100,000 subscribers? We couldn't have done it without you guys. And we want you to be a part of our celebration. So the trouble is how do you give away 
something when you want everybody to be included. Like, I love you all, and I feel like it's not fair to draw names and let one or two people win something. And also, um, we have English riders, we have Western riders, we have dressage riders. Like, if we did saddle pads, or like, I don't know what, what we should do. What should we do? That's my question to you. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below what you think would be a good giveaway. Also, keep in mind that it is COVID and that it's hard to ship things. Things. it's harder to ship things um, and so if I don't know if it's something like I could buy in somebody else's name and give their address and then the company could just ship it to them or I don't know you guys tell me what you think I want to hear it anyway that is it for today's video and we'll see you guys tomorrow when we say goodbye to our horses for the whole winter and you all know I'm gonna cry because I cried last time and it is gonna be worse this time I swear see you guys later thanks for watching don't you know that you're beautiful